my alchemy Turn my dark days into gold Welcome Taste Designs 107, I'm the S on the car pack, you're the kings and queens. Today what if these guys is a Photoshop tutorial showing you how you can make your own Black Widow Twitter header. Now you can do this tutorial for a um, YouTube banner, just make sure you have a YouTube banner template, but since a Twitter header gives me more pixel real estate, I'll just be doing that for the tutorial, but be welcome to go and make your own YouTube banner. So let's go ahead and start this tutorial. All the assets that I'll, that will be needed for this tutorial will be in the description below. This isn't going to be a long video, it's a very simple header to make. So if you're new to Photoshop and if you just want something sexy with like good appeal to it, this is one of the banners that you could use, especially if you like superheroes and that. So let's go to file open and oh before you do that, just gonna make a new file. And on this file, I'm going to make it 1500 by 500. It's going to be the Twitter header um, size. And I'm just press OK. Go to File Open. And if you go down to the Assets folder, you'll have um, this character image. We're just going to drag this in, pop this in, and drag this in. Also, I'll be using Magic Bullet Looks in this tutorial as my plugin. If you don't have Magic Bullet Looks, you don't need it for this tutorial, it is just recommended since it does actually spice things up quite a lot. Not quite a lot, um, I would just say it makes things look a lot, not a lot better, just better. So yeah, I'm um, just going to press Ctrl T and resize this one, just to an appropriate size that I'm feeling, you know what I mean. So I'm going to do something like... Something like that. And we are going to press Ctrl R and move this onto our document. And I'm going to center that one. Uh, just drag that around to something like that. Okay, so now I can go to View Clear Guides. And I'm going to continue this image out with the blue. So to do that, what I'm going to do is grab my brush tool and for the brush tool size I'm going to be using 300 pixels and I'm going to go to my color swatch and just pick this color first of all so what I did is I just did something like that right and then I go here pick a lighter one and just do something like that right and then I'll go here pick another color and just do some clicks like here and I also might pick a slightly darker one than this one just to you know add some difference in between here okay and then on my Scarlett Johansson um, image I'm just going to press E for my eraser tool and make sure that the hardness of the eraser is zero and just erase that out so bam, we've got a pretty good blend, especially with the material, um, especially with the colors there. And don't really worry about this corner, since we're going to be using um, plants like you saw in the preview of the tutorial to cover that stuff up. So then in your plants folder, just open up all these. Um, I've named these to small, small little titles, so they don't take much of the document up. And then I'm just going to drag this onto our thing. These are all PNGs, and that's going to be my first drop you could say something like that and I also used this one for this top here I press ctrl T and I just move this one a little bit to something like that which is looking pretty snazzy if I must say myself and then I also used this one down here can get like some cool little angles of the ferns and I also used 
this one in here. Now, if you guys don't know already, I really do love, you know, you working with um, nature, like themed headers. I just think they look really cool and they're really bright in that. So that's why I have um, a nature themed header on my Twitter because I just think it looks awesome. So yeah, that's the reason why I really do like them. Um, just because of the colors and, you know, they just, they just make everything feel really vibrant and they can be really simplistic and I'm more of a person that goes for those simplistic designs. So I also used this second image and dragged it onto here with my move tool like I've been doing all these and I've put it into a position like like here right and then I went and erased some of this bit here Drag this one down. Get some of my plants back. And I'll actually just do a hardness of a uh, hundred this time. Or like eighty. smaller size bam so we've got that little image now I'll just place it down like there and then I can duplicate this one a little bit right click do flip horizontal and move that one around like that so yeah we're getting some um, variations with the leaves and I'm liking those so that's looking pretty good and so is this image and now what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna duplicate those really quickly and apply the blur over this so to do that I'm just going to be using my glashing blur but first I'm just going to slightly adjust this top layer with the color of the fern to something like more vibrant saturation bumped up a little bit and that it's good to have like a little bit of variation with your ferns and their colors otherwise it just looks it's really easy to catch out and that they were duplicated in that so I'm going to do that these ones Sweet. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to filter, blur, glushing blur, and I'm going to do this one. It's going to be, I don't know, two pixel blur, and then on this black one, this one, I'm going to do, I don't know, 1.5 or 1 1.75. Let's off a blur on that one. And I'll, nah, I'll blur it out quite heavy. Like that. And then I'm also going to blur this one, which this one will be a lot stronger. I mean, because of it's behind this fern. So we're going to give it a higher depth by adding in a larger blur. Something like that. Also, I need to go to here and just erase this little edge here. So I'm just going to bump up my size, under zero, and then bam. So then we've got a seamless edge. And on this corner here, I'm going to go to filter, blur, glushing blur. And I'll just do something like 3.5. Should be chill. Chill my shizzle. And then go on to my corner fern and do 3.5. Should be good also. Now I'm just going to make a new layer above all this and press B for my brush tool. I'm going to do the size of it to 650 and I'm going to be using my black brush and I'm just going to do some stuff in the corners here if you feel cuz. And I'm also going to do 
some stuff like that. Okay. Now on this layer, I'm just going to turn down my opacity a little bit. I don't want it to be too strong. And I'm also going to just try this out. So I haven't done this in my preview, but I'm going to use my white and do a highlight around here. And I know, drop this on overlay opacity, lower it a bit. That's actually better. And I'm going to also make a new layer. And I'm going to be painting with yellow on this one. Just drag this layer above my Scarlett Johansson image. And click something like that, right? Right click and do create clipping mask. And this is going to be put onto o overlay. So it kind of gives that nice little really cool like tint on the... Um, on her hair and I'm just going to do I could do a yellow tint but that's pretty strong I'm going to go for a nice little mix in between there so if I turn that off like it, it just makes it pop a lot and that's basically it for the header now if you didn't have magic bullet looks that's the header that you'd made and you'd put your social media stuff onto the side here but I'm going to go ahead and continue this tutorial um, in magical looks. So if you press Control shift and just select all those layers, press Control j press Control e merge those together, and then group your bottom layers, just to name this back up, just in case if you don't want to end up not doing it, and this is going to be final. Okay, so on your final layer, we're going to go to filter magical looks photo looks. Now in the description below in the assets folder, if you go to file and do open look file and you go into the looks folder you should be able to open up this preset this preset's exactly what you want um it's just got a cool it's basically the cool max the basic cool max preset i've edited a little bit with the diffusion just to show the clouds because it was a bit too strong curves have been remained the same so is the range saturation and the warm cool and if you press ok on that watch the difference in this image and how much more it pops especially with the effects on it. And you'll see that the blues, the colors will come out and it just becomes really nice and strong. So what we can do also is just change the opacity on this one. So we can always lower this down and not, and then we have that. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my, this one and this one. So this was one that I made in previous and this one that I did in second. So like one you can see that I did with some different um, plants and everything. I guess I could have done a little bit of better job on here, but you know, overall, this is a really simple style to do. Um, it just adds focus on the character in the middle, while you can add in your text, like here, or you put your logos or whatever you like, your sponsors or anything, along here. Um, the original designer will be referenced in the description below. He gave me the inspiration for this tutorial so make sure you go check him out that would be much appreciated to give him some love and yeah guys make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel already also like the video if you haven't already also and comment in the comment section telling me what you thought of the video or just the general interaction comment because i love to inter interact with these guys all the time so yeah thank you so much i'll see you back in the next tutorial which should be in two days peace guys